hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is some important concepts that are related to enzymes that are used in gene cloning they are first palindromic sequence second blunt ends and third sticky ends which are also called as cohesive ends but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes that are used in gene cloning i have already uploaded a video on that i have added the link of the video in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this concept better so without a further delay let us first understand palindromic sequence followed by blunt ends and sticky ends if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads palindromic sequence restriction enzymes from bacteria recognize target sequences of 4 to 8 base pairs in dna isolated from any other organism and cut the dna at or near these sites for the majority of these enzymes the recognition site contains 4 to 6 base pairs and exhibit a kind of palindromic symmetry in which the base sequences of each of the two dna strands are identical when read in 5 prime to 3 prime direction because of this base pairs on either side of a central line of symmetry are mirror images of each other If you all can see in the figure the base pairs are identical or mirror images of each other now let us understand what are blunt ends blunt ends it cuts straight through both dna strands right at the line of symmetry to produce fragments with blunt ends If you all can see in the figure restriction enzyme SMA1 cuts the DNA strand at the line of symmetry in between CCC and GGG to produce fragments with blunt ends Now let us understand what are sticky ends Sticky ends Here the cuts are displaced equally in opposite direction from the line of symmetry by one or more bases to generate fragments with single stranded ends. People associated with genetics often refer to this protruding single strands as sticky ends or cohesive ends. They are considered sticky because they are free to base pair with a complementary sequence from the DNA of any organism cut by the same restriction enzyme. For example, the restriction enzyme ECOR1 isolated by Herbert Boyer in 1969 from E. coli cleaves the DNA between G and A in the base sequence GAA TTC. If you are watching my video for the first time subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you